Hey guys, been over here bringing you another Nary Wi-Fi battle. A um, few quick announcements, you know the drill. Just want to go ahead and remind you guys that if you have not signed up for Neurotoxin's uh, tournament, and you tournament, uh, there's only a few more slots left, I believe. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave a link to his um, sign-up video in the description. Really cool guy, cool tournament. Um, some cool players are going to be there, so I would uh, suggest signing up if you haven't done that already. Also, I didn't think that I had to say this, but apparently it's an issue. I've added something new to my channel, um, pretty much, you know, where, where I talk about the uh, basic rules and stuff for playing me. If you don't want any content um, but of our battle or anything to appear on my channel in any capacity, you're going to have to specify that, because I really don't have the memory, you know, uh, to ask every single person every single time I battle them. Hey, is it cool if I save this to some to maybe use it later in some way, shape, or form? Um, yeah, I don't have the patience nor the, the memory to remember to do that every single time. So if you don't want our battle to be on here, you don't want any clips from it used in any way, shape, or form, I don't really care. But you're going to have to specify that with me, and also you're going to have to specify that before the battle. You know, um, you know after the battle, if you say, oh... Well, I lost, so don't use it. I mean, come on, let's grow up a little. Um, but anyway, this is going to be a uh, UU battle with a Pokebeast from T-Flare. Really cool guy. I don't actually battle UU too much. This Uxi actually is supposed to be for... I actually like edited my normal lead Uxi because uh, me and Dustox King had like a mixed tier battle and I was trying to use like a sunny day mixed team. Um, I'll actually leave a link to that video so you know what I'm talking about, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, that one had Stealth Rocks and Not Rest and Heal Bell, and it had a Sunny Day. But yeah, I brought in my um, Tyrant Kuma. He was probably fearing the Aqua Jet, so he uh, left. Now he sees that I have Waterfall, so maybe he thinks I don't have the Aqua Jet, but with the light screen up, uh, he's not going to be able to do that much. And just in case Aqua Jet wouldn't kill, I did go for the Waterfall, because I actually do have Aqua Jet. And, um, I am going to predict, I did predict him to go for that Sucker Punch, but I just thought I could survive it. Since I survived, you know, an Alakazam's uh, Psychic, because Alakazam has better special attack than he does attack. Plus it has higher base, you know, power, but I guess the light screen really showing its effectiveness there. So yeah, I predicted the Sucker Punch again, thinking maybe he's banded since that did kill. So yeah, I'm just going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, and then I kill him off with a Flare Blitz, not really concerned about the Sucker Punch, because he was burned. So yeah, I'm going to burn this thing, because, you know, most uh, poly, uh, poly rats are physical, so I was thinking I could take a hit from it pretty easily after I got it burned. I'm going to switch out, he's going to predict that. Luckily for me, I do go to a Fighting Resist, because Altaria resists both his stab moves, and with him being burned, and me being a special wall, it's pretty much the perfect uh, switch in here. And I was hoping he did not have the Ice Punch. That's something I really didn't want to see. And unfortunately, he does have it. And even with the burn, it's going to do way too much damage. But I thought I could survive another one for some reason. So I do go for the Dragon Claw, thinking I could two-hit KO him. But I don't even think I would have been able to two-hit KO him, because Dragon Claw did not look to do enough damage. So maybe he has some HP or defense EVs, or maybe just because I don't have attack EVs, it just didn't do enough. So I bring in my Falcon Punch, go for the sub, um, just in case he decided to switch. I don't, um, there's really no uh, downside to doing it. Okay, I lose a little bit of HP. Not really a big deal. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Energy Ball to uh, finish him up, since I think he's just going to stay in for Death Water so he can get a free switch. He does get a free switch into his Hitmonlee. I don't know if he's Scarfed or Banded. Oh, I don't know if he's Choiced at all, but I assume that most Hitmonlees are Choiced. So yeah, I go into um, my Thousand Sunny, and that did way too much. Although he did get the crit, so I wasn't, sh I still wasn't sure if he's banded or scarfed, because he got that crit. I was a little skeptical. Although I did get the Intimidate first, so I'm already kind of suspicious that he may be banded. And unfortunately, um, yeah, I'm not gonna get the wake up there. And if I, if he hadn't got that crit, I'm curious as to if that earthquake would have killed or not. Maybe it would have. I don't know what his investment is. So yeah, I have to bring in my Falcon Punch. I go for the Leech Seed. Um, he went for the Gyro Ball. It did a little bit more than I thought it would, although I did expect it to do around half. 
but it did a little bit more than that, unfortunately. I'm just going to go for some subs here uh, to get a little bit of leech seed, and because I wasn't really paying too much attention to the numbers, and I wanted to see if I could gain more back um, than, you know, than I was using for the sub. And uh, that's, all, that's not the case, so I'm just going to go for the energy ball, hoping it'll kill. Luckily it does kill, um, so that's good for me. And yeah, he's going to bring in his Hitmonlee here. I'm just going to go for the energy ball, and I'm outspeeding him, which means that he is probably banded. So I have to hope he is banded, because my only poke left is Simmer Down version 4, and if he was like, I don't know, expert belt or something, and could just close combat, then he probably could have got the game there. But he was banded, so that's good for me. Um, maybe he should have just gone for the close combat to begin with. We both probably made a couple misplays, but it was a really fun battle. And uh, yeah, why don't you guys check out these battles, and um, please keep in mind what I said. If you um, don't want any of your content, any uh, any of the content of a battle between you and I to be displayed on my channel or in an intro or you know in any capacity, it's no problem. You know, you just have to let me know because I really am not going to be able to remember <laughs> to ask every single person. So yeah, that's all for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. So peace out.